What's going on guys, AJ? I have arrived to no other than the beautiful city of Grand Lake. That is correct. In this episode, we're gonna go after some big lake trout and hopefully land some. I'm going with Dan from Fishing with Bernie. The guy is a solid guide. I can't wait to get out there with him. I am checking in at the Black Bear Lodge Hotel. Should be a good time. My room over here is room 24. We're gonna check it out and then we're gonna grab some dinner. I wanna cover the game plan with Dan and see where we're gonna go tomorrow, what ground we're gonna cover, and hopefully we'll hit on it. Good morning, guys. I'm finally on the ice with Dan Shedden from Fishing with Bernie. What up, Dan? Hey, how's it going, AJ? It's going well. We're gonna go get him out there. Hopefully this overcast doesn't hurt us too much. See you guys on the ice. <laughs> So this is on every time we change holes go to off to uh, back to on for auto this right here is just interference from your line because we're shallow on the right side here i have it on zoom so this right side is the surface and the bottom of the lake okay um if the, the bottom gets just gets wider that's still a fish but typically that's our smaller fish all right guys what we got is a dave gantz split handle 40 inch heavy rod and the line is uh what dan it's a 15 pound clam frost to a 10 pound uh, suffix fluorocarbon leader right on and what is this real that's a eagle class sabalos that is no longer made anymore they're classic oh, classic it's always nice to be a little classic right on man all right gotta move around guys we got nothing here that was strange it's like i hit a rock on the way up or something it just felt nope fish on I can't tell how big it is. Just keep tension. Damn. Oh no! We're reeling him against the ice. You know, impressive though, dude. You can't ever tell what their size is when you first hook them, and then three runs later, you're like, okay. Yeah. Once they see the hole, and like, that's when they really are like, oh wait. There you'll catch the occasional big leak. God damn. Is it stuck? Yeah. Hey, just in my drag, just a tad. What the hell do I have on? I might be stuck on something, man, to be honest with you. Yeah, just keep tension, just keep tension. I mean, it's not even pulling, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's still there. Wow. Do we even have it close? Yeah, he's right there. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus, did you just realize he's about to get out? Yep. Yeah. He's right there. Oh, no, he's going for a run again. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! God! Come back to Papa. This hand is weakening. I'm hoping that was his last run. I can feel him just a little closer. Half the battle is freaking getting him through the hole. Yep. He's pulling. Not as much this time, not as much. Is that the leader there? Oh, come on, fish get tired. God, he really hates that hole, man. I can't freaking budge him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, son of a... These guys fight like hell, guys. It's like this fish hasn't been caught in a while or something. It's icy. Come on. 
my leg stuck again. Oh, he broke off. No, 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 no. Still going. Oh, shoot, man. That scared the hell out of me. You see him? Thirteen minutes so far. You see him almost? Just let me know what you need, man. Holy crap! Humpback, what a beaut! Awesome. We're gonna measure him and let him go. 38? Yeah, 38 and a half. After that, and Dan's gotta retie. We're gonna move the snowmobiles over there and retie. Anything with teeth, retie. But we got on him. We got on him quick. That's what Dan will get you guys. I know some of you think it's expensive to be guided, but if you split it with two dudes, it's cheap as hell. I think, Dan. That's why I always do it with, with like friends, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, guys. So we just caught a couple of those fish, and uh, we're just fishing shallow this morning. We're gonna kind of keep at it until we start not catching it if they are marking. Uh, I don't want to say how shallow precisely, but. You'll know what I mean when I say shallow for some of these lakers, so. All right, moon spots, guys. This is how easy these Arctic cats are to turn on, just like your car. Boom. Arrived. Spot two. How many inches would you say the ice is? Probably about two feet. Cool. What's the length of the feet, sir? Gotta stay hydrated, guys. Gotta stay hydrated. And these Vexlars, I would not normally use, but they're uh, good luck for me today. All right, let's drop this bad boy. Oof. Well, so far so good with the slush. I think I wanna move like up here somewhere eventually. Oh my God! That one actually I saw. Oh, th there it is, there it is, he's coming back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come down. All right, time to move spots again, folks. Easy. See you in a bit. All right guys, a little bit of a gear check time now. What we're using is these five eight ounce jig heads. They're kind of custom made, but I, I, from my understanding, Discount Fishing Tackle has him. And if you contact Dan Shannon from Fishing with Bernie, he also has him. But if you live in a metro area like I do, Discount Fishing Tackle will have some good prices on these. And of course, the classic white tube. You guys have seen me in Williams Fork episodes catch, and even here at Granby, catch some decent Lakers on this. Also, we got my boy Max from Cougar Baits. This is a pattern that replicates rainbow trout. Had bites today on this. I just could not hook him right. Basically, what we're using is heavy and extra heavy rods. Because with these big boys, they have thick jaws. We want to rip right through them. So we're fishing mostly shallow today. I don't want to give away what depth shallow wise, but it's definitely not my normal 70 feet of water. So that's the gear check, guys. It's really that simple. We're just working them right. And that's all there is to it. Let's see if we can get more fish. They should ask what the people want, honestly. I doubt it. Someone would be like, no, we just want it to be a stalker trout lake. Oh, I've got a, oh my God, I got a big fish on me. Yeah, he is. He's still with me. Oh my God, come on. Oh, he's on me. He's in 
entered a hole. He didn't go in a run yet. We know he will. I know. I don't know if he knows if he's hooked or not. I am pulling up. Is he small? No. Got him? Yeah, got him. Alright. I don't think he's 32. Nose to tail, 32, 32 and a half. Oh, I got another one. Oh, dude, I got another one. Oh. Hit it. Got him. Oh, I may have lost him. Nope, nope. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. That's the man. That's all I gotta say. Just make sure you're a good student and you listen. Am I right, Dan? <laughs> Listening is part of the game. That's right, gotta listen to the guy. Well, guys, uh, you know, you lose him, you get him. That was still a lot of fun. All right, guys, we're gonna get a cougar bait down there. Let's see what the cougar bait will do. All right, guys, now we move to some deeper stuff. So, my usual lake trout fishing. Let's see if we can get him. Deep swimmers. Small. Oh yeah, aggressive suspended one. Any size need help or is he pulling? Does he feel 25, 30? Not a small fish either though, right? Wow, he hit you on the way down, huh? Yeah, he, he caught it 15 feet under the ice. Wow. And we're deep guys, so my, my jig stopped. Oh, there's the bubbles, there's the bubbles. There's the bubbles. Mid-20s, you think? I was about to just tell you, it's okay, calm down, let him run. <laughs> I have it. It's all right, it's all right. I might need it after my last performance. Damn, don't be, don't be nervous, uh, you got this. <laughs> okay, patience, right? I just can't lip him like you, but... Uh, pull him right up against the ice. And... He feels, looks sizable, man. Oh, you run. There he is. <sighs> All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here, man. All right, good work. All right. Let's measure him quickly. Uh, 30. Beauty. Well guys, I was trying to drop it down there and Dan just had to hook into a fish. That one had him suspended. 15 feet below the hole, huh? A little update for you. I think we wore AJ out chasing the big fish. So now he's requesting that we go off and just try and find a couple numbers just to, to tighten some lines. He's gonna have to have his uh, arm iced up tonight to, to keep getting you guys some videos, but uh, <laughs> we'll get off to them numbers now. Bigger ones are harder to get, so I want to go have an easy day and rest my arm up a little bit. So we'll see you guys at the spot. See ya. All right, guys, so we gotta get some eaters, hopefully. We're gonna put some sucker meat just to get a bit of, of an active bite. And I'm gonna use a Vexlar, guys, to catch these fish. Now, it was easy using a Vexlar for the big ones on the bottom, but now I'm gonna wonder what is a fish and what isn't a fish? 
Right, Dan? I thought you were a pro by now. With Max Lars? You know what? Consider me a pro after two decent fish. I guess we can. I'm gonna try those other holes. Are you marking any? Here we go. Got one on me. Got one all over me. Come on. Bite it. Wonder if I should move. Oh. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yeah, maybe. Not a giant. That's okay. Oh, that's actually a quality, quality, that's nice, beautiful. What a beauty, man. I love their yellow colors like that. How can you tell it's a difference between a splake and a laker? On here, this is a laker. So typically a splake has a little bit shallower. Gotcha. Beauty. It almost looks like a brookie. Yep. Like that, those colors like in spawn time. Absolutely, yep. Yeah, cool guys. We're gonna let them go. That's it. Just like a brookie, they're a uh, part of the char family too. I'll give it five minutes, and then we'll go. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. All right, another cookie cutter, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, we're done fishing for the day. Me and Dad did an awesome job out here yeah. today. Fished all depths. Got our monsters, had some fun with the smaller ones again. Fishing with Bernie, Dan Shannon, we'll get you on the fish, guys. I highly recommend you get with him to do the strip. Snowmobiles were awesome, everything was awesome. I had a great time, man. Thank you very much. Heck yeah, good day. Good day. I hope you guys enjoy this episode as much as I did. We'll see you on the next one.